Hi, today we'll be talking about erosion, which is one of NCCFD solutions for flow assurance. Now, erosion can dramatically shorten the life of piping system, especially when we're talking about hydrocarbon wells, when we're talking about transport of complex multi-phase flows which include sand and propent. It's well known that sand and propent are the most common source of erosion problem in those hydrocarbon system. And here's an example on the picture. You can see that you can very quickly go in from a piece of piping that's actually eroded to one that will fail. Now let's look at an example of uh, courtesy of DNV where we see the initial design on the left uh, side where you can see the trajectory of the particles which are going to hit a high velocity the piping wall and that of course will create erosion. Now here simulation was used to modify the exit flow from the choke without actually causing additional pressure drop and by studying different design as you can see on the right in the improved design uh, they were able to design a system which are very low erosion. Why? Because the particles are not hitting anymore the wall of the pipe. Now let's take a look at how that's done in simulation. Here we are in design model and you're looking at the geometry of the pipe system. And what you also see are those very small uh, pipes and those are the ones that actually will propel the sand particle to an extremely high speed. Next I wanted to show you how we do the mesh. We put an inflation on the wall of the pipe obviously to capture the flow boundary layer and then I wanted to show you that uh, we did a special face sizing on the hole that we saw previously and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide some faces so you can see the location of the special size function. Now let's look at the mesh here you can see the surface mesh really high quality uh, prism and tetrahedral mesh uh, let's look at uh, the inside of the mesh. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And there's two things I uh, want you to see. Uh, the first thing I want you to see is related to the quality of the boundary layer along the different pipes. And the second thing I want you to see is actually the influence of those size function. Let's zoom a little bit more and as you can see you really have a good transition from a larger size of mesh in the main pipe to a much smaller size in those small pipes. Really high quality mesh that we have for simulation. And let's go right to Fluent keeping uh, off the detail regarding the multi-phase flow. That's not the point of this tech tip. What I want to show you is I will use the uh, DPM model to model the send of course and turn down the erosion accretion model. Now at this point I just want you to know that Fluent has built in a wide array of industry accepted erosion models and you can see the list here and of course as usual you also have the flexibility to incorporate your own erosion model thanks to a user defined function. It's also very important to note that these erosion models are available for both single and multi-phase CFD simulation and a wide array of multi-phase CFD simulation as you can see Alarian Alarian, Alarian Granular, VOF, DPM, Dense DPM and DEM. Okay now time to look at the results and the particles or sand particle trajectory. What I'm gonna do just to make the graphic easy to see is I'm only gonna plot every 500 particles and you can easily spot where the particles hit the wall. That's when the particle velocity decreases. Now of course I can process this data and compute information like the particle erosion rate on the wall that you can see here. Obviously a region of high erosion rate which are inside the pipe, inside the small pipe and inside the downstream pipe where you saw before the particles hitting the wall. Now please note that we also have the capability to change the shape of the pipe as the pipe erodes and that is an example that you see on the screen here. That's something I didn't show you in this tech tip but please know you can do it. If your flow will change a lot because of erosion you can actually model that as well. Thank you very much for your time today.